Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Especially my new viewers and new subscribers. Your kindness, your generosity, your support of my channel has truly been amazing. I never take that for granted. We're here at the house construction, day 10. I was here earlier in the day, but it was too hot. I decided to come back. See, now is the beautiful time of the day when I tell you that it's about 5 15 p.m. when the weather's perfect that's where I am now it feels real good as you can see they've started on the foundation he's the night watchman but he's also the brother of the engineer I spoke with the engineer earlier uh, the ceilings on the house are going to be 2.6 meters high. And it's going to go on toward a slant toward the back. Fifty two square meters. This is going to be the two bedrooms. One is going to be a little bit bigger than the other got the master bedroom this is the front door here the front door it's gonna be the living room area all the way back and in the back is going to be the dining room and then over to the side is the kitchen 52 square meters He's charging us about 19,000 pesos per square meter. So it's going to come out to a little bit over, uh, a little bit under $20,000, a million pesos. Uh, estimated time of finish is going to be three months, but depends on the weather. They're working Monday through Saturday. Saturday, but this Saturday it was raining so bad that they could not uh, do anything. But it's coming along well. And as you see, again, I'll show you back here where their bunkhouse is. That's where the Sunshine Shoulders guest house is going to be. It's going to be three meters wide, 15 meters long it's going to be about the size of a deluxe hotel room there's some more of the hollow blocks these guys were working hard today it was hot too i came over here and now i asked him also about the electrical outlets there's going to be at least two in every room we're going to have a chandelier in the main entrance once you come through the door. Also, he's going to put a water faucet here on the outside. And that's because y'all asked me, y'all told me to do that. To get as many outlets as possible and also make sure I get a faucet. Now, in the back of the house is going to be our laundry area. And, of course, We'll have the, the wash machine right inside the kitchen area. We'll wash the clothes and then we'll hang them out to dry. And where the space is, it's going to be temporarily the driveway area right here. This is where I'm gonna have my gym also. Just a little outdoor gym with some weights. We'll have the cover up here, like a carport. Our property comes all the way out here by these rocks. So this is where the, the wall is gonna be constructed with the gate right in front. We'll put the gate over here but the wall is gonna encompass this whole compound. 
that's just how it is. As you can see over here across the street, most everybody has has a gate around their house. See there. They don't have a gate yet, but if you see this house over here in the corner, you can see their gate. But I'm happy with the progress, and we're not in any hurry, really. It's the typical size of the Filipino house. It's, it's not really a small house to me, you know. We've got basically three adults and two small children, man. That's enough room. Just... Um, something to call our own, you know, it's, it's a beginning. And that's what it's really all about. And again, I'm proud to, to be able to, to build during the pandemic. You know, it gives, provides people uh, with some employment. We had seven guys out here today engineer made eight I made nine so that's nine families and then we got the night watchman that's ten families that are going to benefit from this you know construction and, you know it's a very humble very modest construction but like I said you know my daughter I have a roof over her head which is very very important over here It's cool over here too. We get a breeze in the morning and during the evening. Right now it's calm, but it's really nice. I guess it's probably about 72 or 73 degrees right now. And there's no humidity at all, as you can see. I mean, it's really feels great out here. And any of you guys who are concerned about the heat, I told you in the morning, you get up about five o'clock, from about five o'clock to seven o'clock in the morning, and then from five in the afternoon or evening until morning, you're gonna get weather like this. This is about as perfect of weather as you can have. I love looking at those mountains back there. Now this eventually is gonna be a subdivision once the private owners of all this land if they sell it to the government things will pick up real quick the roads, it's going to be a road that's going to come through here go all the way through so what we have is going to be considered a corner lot let me take a look on this other side I'll walk back because I gave the tricycle driver 40 pesos. Really would have only cost me 10. But I always do that because, you know, it's the pandemic and these guys, they don't get as much business as they used to, to get in. There's the bunkhouse. He'll sleep in there tonight. The, the, the night watchman. It's where everybody keeps their um, supplies and the jackets and different things. You see, this is the back of the house. This is going to be the... Back here is going to be the laundry area and then she'll probably have her plants and stuff back here and yeah it's coming together the cr is going to be somewhere back in here see the second bedroom is going to be small that's for the girls because we're getting a master bedroom built i just i needed a little bit more room for me But thank y'all for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. Day 10. The foundation is coming together. And it's going to 
the hollow blocks are going to go up 2.6 meters high. You do your math, I guess that's about 8 foot, 8 or 9 foot, maybe a little bit more. What's a meter? 3.9 feet. I'll put it in the description. If you're in America, it's early. You're still in the bed, so I'm going to talk to your subconscious mind. When you get up to go get your cup of coffee, to go to work, to go get your newspaper, and you see somebody out in the street, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink, give them a few dollars. If you're in the Philippines, it's about... 5.25 p.m. You don't have much time left. But there's no excuse why we shouldn't go out and find somebody to help today. Millions of people over here need our help. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay COVID-free. I'll see you next time. Just want to give y'all a view from the road the quote unquote road. And I'm gonna bring y'all from the time we broke ground all the way to they hand me the keys. Y'all gonna be here. I'm really, really proud of once that Sunshine Shoulders guest house is built. All my viewers, all my subscribers, when you come through here to San Carlos City, you're gonna be welcome to stay there. You gotta give me at least a two week notice and you can stay a week so everybody get a chance to stay. We're gonna construct the main house first and then with the materials left over, we're gonna do the guest house until those materials are used up. Then I'll probably have to buy some more and then just pay for the labor. I won't have to pay for the engineer anymore and we won't have to do any more building permits or anything because he said that since it's going to be so small he didn't include it uh, we already filled out the application they're going to have temporary electricity here because I guess the guys are going to start staying all night over here and then they're going to use I guess different tools and things that need electricity so take care stay safe stay COVID free I'll see you next time